The Tejon Ranch lies at the convergence of four of California's major ecological regions, the Joshua Tree Woodlands of the Mojave Desert, the Grasslands and Oak Woodlands of the Great Central Valley, the Chaparral Studded South Coast, and the Confer Forest of the Sierra Nevada. It's unlike anywhere else in California. The ranch hosts a wide diversity of wildlife, such as mountain lions, black bears, and mule deer, and many unique plant species. Tejon Ranch is also one of the key remaining refuges for many iconic and threatened species in this part of California, including California condors, golden eagles, pronghorn, and its namesake, American badgers. At 270,000 acres, Tejon Ranch is the largest contiguous private property in California and still a working cattle ranch and agribusiness. Located a mere hour's drive from LA, Tejon Ranch is both a natural paradise and a regionally important agribusiness, but is under attack from a powerful foreign invader. Feral pigs. So Tejon Ranch is a super biodiverse place. It, it sits at this confluence of four major ecological regions, um, and so you have a lot of um, animal and floral elements that are contributed from those various regions. Our concern is that uh, certain invasive species, plants and animals, can degrade or, or reduce the level of biodiversity. And something like feral pigs, in particular, we think is a very, very problematic invasive species. Pigs are one of the most intelligent, adaptive, and damaging invasive species in the world. Not native to North America, Feral pig populations have exploded across California and many other parts of the United States over the last several decades. The feral pigs at Tejon Ranch are derived from an accidental release of pigs from a hunting ranch in the Tehachapi Mountains in the 1990s. In the following 25 years, they become firmly entrenched on the ranch and the surrounding region. Regardless of their origins, they can severely degrade habitats and are a threat to many wildlife and plant species as they root for food and wallow to remain cool. Pigs are the perfect invader. They are extremely fecund. They have lots of offspring. They survive reasonably well, we think. They're super smart. They eat just about anything. They can move. They can seek out you know, the, the optimal habitats that they want. There's very few predators that are probably capable of controlling their populations here. Perhaps most troubling of all, feral pigs are a serious concern as a potential source of human and livestock diseases as feral pigs are known carriers of dozens of potentially dangerous parasites including foot and mouth disease, swine influenza, pseudo rabies, and swine brucellosis. We know that they consume a very wide variety of plant and animal material uh, including animal species for example that we care a lot about. So certain reptiles and amphibians, they've been known to take red-legged frog egg masses out of ponds, They've been known to consume deer fawns, another wildlife resource that we're trying to manage in California for recreational purposes as well as um, biodiversity value. So over the last several years, the Tone Ranch Conservancy has initiated basic research into the invasive pig ecology to answer such questions as how abundant pigs are across the ranch, what habitats they use, and what are the damages they cause. An ongoing collaboration with USDA APHIS and other partners has provided us with the opportunity to trap, sample, and collar wild pigs on Tejon, allowing us to follow their movements across the landscape with remotely triggered wildlife cameras and GPS tracking devices. This research not only allows the Conservancy and its partners to estimate the overall population of wild pigs, but also to track their movements, reproductive rates, and survival over time. 
Additionally, we have initiated long-term surveys to estimate the damage to natural resources caused by wild pigs across different habitat types throughout the ranch. These efforts will allow us to better develop and prioritize management actions and monitor their efficacy moving forward. State agencies are starting to realize that hunting isn't going to help to manage the problem of overabundant feral swine. Recreational hunting might be fun, but it's, it's not going to help us to manage the problem. It really takes a concentrated effort, an organized effort, to reduce densities down to where you need them to not be having those, those damages. So we need to do a lot of the sort of um, know your enemy kind of research, learn about their biology, their ecology, how they're making a living in different parts of the country. And the Tejon Ranch is a great place for us to be working right now because it's giving us a representative landscape for California as well as the American West. So to this point, much of the national research effort has been focused on population monitoring and an assessment of agricultural damage. From the Conservancy's perspective, our ultimate objective is to develop methods to minimize the ecological damage caused by pigs to the native ecosystems of Tejon that we are tasked with stewarding. Since the complete eradication of pigs from a landscape as large and unbounded as the ranch is unrealistic given their current population, our management approach is likely to include a combination of lethal control methods and exclusionary fencing. Other tools, such as contraceptives and toxicants, are still under development and may be incorporated into future management strategies once they are proven safe and effective. So we need to have as many tools in the toolbox of pig management, pig control, as, as possible. And there is not going to be a silver bullet. So it's going to take a combination of methods, things like the toxicant, all of our trapping methods, and trapping methods are just getting better and better with new technologies. Um, we're getting to be more and more efficient with aerial gunning, mostly from helicopters. So it's going to be a combination of all these sorts of tools that are going to help us get across the goal line with barrel swine. So in order to have that conversation, we need to have effective tools to establish the extent to which they are damaging our native ecology and the extent to which they are damaging our agribusiness and the threat that they pose to human health. And in order to do that, we have to develop methodologies that will give us accurate readings on their population growth and what they're doing to our native ecology and those agribusinesses. You know, feral swine haven't hit the front page of USA Today yet, but they will. And, and so I am so proud to be part of a USDA program that is being proactive, working with all of our partners to try to start to address this overabundant feral swine. The Tejon Ranch Conservancy believes that feral pigs are one of the gravest threats to biodiversity at Tejon. Controlling pigs and their damages is a challenging and expensive problem that's complicated by the fact that hunting pigs can often generate revenue for a landowner, even though there are costs to the landowner from the damages that they cause. We need to better understand these trade-offs, as well as the basic ecology of pigs themselves, before sound management decisions can be made. One thing everyone should understand is that the nation's feral pig problem isn't going away and will worsen until resource agencies, land managers, politicians, and the public can agree that there is a significant problem that needs to be addressed and develop the tools and allocate the resources to do so. The Tejon Ranch Conservancy believes that Tejon Ranch can serve as a microcosm of the pig problem in California and beyond. The research being done by the Tejon Ranch Conservancy and its partners seeks to provide science-based information on this critical natural resource issue, enabling us and our land management partners to develop effective strategies to better manage pigs and protect our native habitats.